hello everyone and welcome to my channel um yeah so basically here we're going to be doing a lot of fun and cute drawings and yeah so basically i wanted to start off very easy with a little hamster i have my little sketch on a purple flashcards you might see in the little corner so yeah so i'm gonna start by erasing any marks that were made on my paper then I am going to start going by rounding off the edges. I'm going to go over with this in Sharpie after. Just so you can see it. Then I am going to go a little higher because I want it to be kind of big. This might be upside down for you. So here is a quick glance of what it looks like. Then you're gonna wanna go and make a little rooftop, <laughs> little curve. I like to call it the rooftop because it sucks. It just reminds me of a rooftop for some reason. Then I'm gonna go and draw another curved line down. make it look like that just an upside down U, I guess or just a U. an upside down U so far then you're just gonna connect it it looks somewhat like an O something like that then at the bottom you're just gonna want to go up by here and draw two little feet This is what mine looks like so far. It's pretty um basic, I could say. <laughs> yeah. Then I'm going to add these little dash marks inside of here to make it look like there's the um, its little paws. The one in the middle is going to be shorter than the two outer ones, so it gives it some more of that textured look. Next up. I'm going to go to its hands. I'm going to um, make two little arms. I'm not going to make them connecting because it might look a little weird. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to draw a circle, but this circle's going down. I'm not like, starting at the upper circle because on the top, on the top of the circle is going to be a little um, mark to make it kind of look like um, it's bitten out of. So I'm just going to go bite, bite, bite. I don't really like how the bite looks, so I'm just going to adjust it. There we go. That's what it looks like. That's what my cute little one looks like so far. Now I'm going to add the little... Um, chocolate chips on the cookie because I like chocolate chip cookies and he needs to look cute with a little chocolate chip cookie now I'm just going to adjust the arms to make them out a little longer and a little even I don't know why I'm adding so much detail because I'm going to go over it with it in sharpie after but yeah I'm going to face it back towards me and draw two eyeballs, two, well, two round circles, and make some eights. I call it eight, and make two eight, and make an eight in the circle, an eight inside that big circle. Mm -hmm. You can tell on this eye over here, there's an eight in it. And then I just draw an eight, but this eight is now facing the other way. The eights are both facing diagonal from each other, so kind of in a V shape, but without the top part. <laughs> then you can just shade it in, but I'm not doing that yet. It depends if you're making it a girl or a boy. If you're making it a boy, you don't have to add eyelashes unless you want to, but I'm drawing a girl, so I'm just going to do 
out a little, a little wing. And then there it is, my little eyelashes. Those are my two little eyelashes here. Then I'm going, just to make it cute, I'm going to make a little spot around its eye. And then make a little eyebrow above it. Then I'm going to add two little ears for the hamster to make it very cute because without the eye, it's not a hamster. Now let's add the mouth. Um, I'm going to add a little heart for its mouth, for its nose. And then I'm going to draw a cute little smile. And to make it look cute, I'm going to add a little tongue. To make it look like it's sticking out its tongue. Now I'm going to go over it in Sharpie. You can add any final touches you want to add, but I feel like I'm finished with mine. So I'm just going to start going over the edges. I'm going around the body and as I'm doing that I'm going and doing in those little details like the feet and the ears then continue here now I'm gonna start working on the inner here's what mine looks like so far let me move my little um, pen so it's not in the way now I'm going to add those three little dash marks again sharpie over those because those don't really come out as well as I thought they would so boom this one's a little messed up but it's okay it should look fine then I'm gonna go and make the little circle around its eye and just like I was saying with that eight just draw an eight again and just shade around that eight you can do your eyes however you want. That's just how I do my eye because I feel like it's easiest for me to just draw two eights, well, one eight actually, two circles, and then just boom. Coming together, if you can, if you can kind of tell that that's coming together as a hamster. <laughs> then I'm gonna draw his nose, her nose. Don't take any offense, hamster. It's a little tongue. There it is. Now I'm going to draw the cookie. Little bites. And I'm not drawing his hand because I feel like he should be holding the cookie from behind. So, <laughs> yeah. Now I'm just going to just make those little dots. Okay, now, oh, I forgot to do his eyebrows. Her. I keep calling it a he for some reason. <laughs> oh, one thing I forgot to add is, is whiskers. Because it just, I knew something was missing. You can go back in there and draw it with a pencil, but I'm just going to go straight in and use a Sharpie. I don't think I should use a Sharpie. Yeah, I shouldn't have used the Sharpie because now it's off, but... It's okay. It's good enough. It's not like I'm drawing this from some pro master. <laughs> but yeah, that's my little hamster. Now I'm going to erase all those pencil marks from it. You can do that as well if you're using a pencil and then sharpening it. But if you're just sharpening it, you don't have to do this step. Now I'm just going to add a little heart in the corner because he needs a little heart. She, I keep calling it a he. It's really making me so aggravated that I'm calling it a he when it's a she. That is basically, yeah, my little hamster. Now I'm just going to color it in and it'll be done. So. I will show you guys the process and the colors I use over here. This is my color palette. <laughs> so.
So I'm gonna start off by doing his base, his skin tone. I think he's around this tan, this tan, and this brown. These three colors, and I'll add a white as well just to make it more colorful. So you can see those three colors. Next to my drawing. So I'm gonna start off with this beige-ish color and do his, um, yeah, basically his base of him. And I'm not going to do that thorough, nice, clean where everything is gone because I'm gonna add other layers of colors on top of it to fill in those spots so it looks cute like a mix of colors and not just one plain color. So you can pause this video if I'm going too fast. I'm probably not going to be going too fast because I am a very slow color. Just to let you know. There. Now I'm going to go and add this darker. It's This one it looks darker, but it's actually lighter. It's weird. This packaging is weird. Just to know, the um, colors I am using, like the color pencils I'm using, is based off of the brand Prismacolor. I think I pronounced that right, Prismacolor, yeah. P-R-I-S-M-A-C-O-L-O-R, Prismacolor. Just in case you guys want to get those things to follow along with my, basically my instructions or my videos. But if not, you could just use any other brand. You could use Crayola, anything. This is just the brand I use. Don't worry if you get it on a Sharpie because um, if you get it on the Sharpie lines, you can always go back over. Just like how I'm gonna go back over with these arms over here. <laughs> Pointing at the wrong area with the arm. Yeah, I'm gonna go back over those because they got colored with some colored pencil. Now I'm gonna join the game with this dark brown. Hopefully it's not too dark, but I'm just gonna go over it very lightly because I don't want a very dark shade of brown over around the eye. There we go. Just a little cute hamster. So, yeah. Basically, I'm drawing the little hamster's feet because the little hamster's feet are very, very, very cute. Now, instead of just doing brown, I'm going to add some gold to him because I feel like uh, the brown is just not too much and he needs some pop and color in him <laughs> i don't think i should have gone to that gold because now it looks a little weird but it's okay it's a hamster <laughs> you you don't have to add gold i just have a set of gold well i have gold and silver in this set of colors so i basically wanted to use it because i thought it was a cute with this hamster this is kind of like a darkish ham um, hamster, but you could use any colors you like and customize your hamster to be any way that you want. I'm gonna use this little pink for the hearts, for the little hearts besides this hamster, and for the inside of his ears, and his nose and tongue. Then, <laughs> Then I'm going to go again and go. My mom likes to do very funny things during my videos. So if you just see little interruptions, it's just going to be her doing funny things. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's putting her spatula made with love in here. <laughs> she cooked up a hamster. <laughs> now I'm going back into this chocolate chip cookie. I don't know why I just said that really weirdly, but yeah. And that is my very cute hamster. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.